Welcome back. The August primaries are just around the corner. ABC 17 News will have candidates running in the 4th Congressional District here in studio ahead of next month's election. Tonight, we have State Senator Rick Bratton, who is a Republican candidate here in the 4th District, joining us in studio. Senator Bratton, appreciate your time. Uh, let's just start off. What should people know about you? I'm a former United States Marine, a small business owner, uh, but my, the pride of my life is my family. I have five children, 21 all the way down to eight. Uh, I've served in the legislature. I was elected in 2010 uh, and termed out of the House. Now I'm currently a state senator, uh, but you know, looking to, to move to Washington. Sure. So I just I want to start off with kind of the news story that we started off with, talking about inflation. I feel like it's everyone, no matter your political stripe, you kind of realize how expensive things are right now. So what, what relief do you see that you can maybe give somebody? If you're going to Washington and people are worried about things being expensive, what can you do in this role to help people out with that? Well, I mean, putting in a stop to, to what's going on, the continued spending and the, the frenzy to continue to print dollars. I mean, we have got to put a full stop on this. And we've got to really dive into to the budget and the spending that's causing the, the printing of this money to devalue your dollar to where when you're going to the pump, you're going to the grocery store, you're not paying astronom astronomical prices. Or when you look at your 401k and see the, that it is diminished in its value, you in such a short amount of time. I mean, so putting the block, putting the stop immediately, and I think by taking over the House and the Senate, uh, but having those people that are willing to press in and, and say, we have got to address this and address it now. You're a member of the state Senate currently right now. Um, it's the last couple of years, not necessarily a body that's been known for getting a lot of things done. Blame can be put on lots of different <laughs> parties, I'm sure. I'm sure that discussion's been had. As a member of that, going to the House, what, what would you say to people worried that, I mean, that you might will go there to try to get things done? You mentioned being a block to stop the spending there, but what about getting things done and getting things passed there? Is that something you're up to the task for? There? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, I've, I've been one to, to be able to work with people across lines, get things done in the state Senate. Yes, there's a, a lot of turmoil, but, but the state Senate, the, the Senate in general, the, by design, our founders designed it to be a dysfunctional body. It's not meant to, to function to where you can pump out legislation. It's not meant to be that. So, so it, it's actually functioning how the founders had intended it to. I know people want to get a lot of stuff done, uh, but that is, it, it's meant to put the brakes on. Why? Because every law we pass, it's an infringement on your liberty and freedom. So, but when you go to Washington, it's, it's creating that vision and having that vision of, of why our ideas are, are the right ideas and being able to explain, you know, the process of, of how we can achieve that and how we can get it done uh, and, and why we need to get this done. And I think the people are, are really clamoring for that leadership, the bold leadership, the, the no-nonsense uh, you know, rhetoric that they continue to hear. And I believe that's what I offer. One of the big endorsements uh, that, you, that you tout, I see your pin tweet, right? At least last I checked, Missouri Right to Life. Yes. Um, having that in your corner, the um, you know, anti-abortion really anti um, uh, group and out there. Going to Washington. I know there's a lot of talk now with Roe versus Wade being overturned, putting it squarely as a state's rights issue now. Um, when you get to Washington, would you support a nationwide abortion ban? Oh, absolutely. And I think that's one of our first steps we've got to take. We've got to look at the budget to ensure that no dollars are going to, to fund abortion services. Uh, taxpayers expect that. I mean, it doesn't matter what what party you're with, I mean, by, by and large, the, the vast majority do not want their taxpayer dollars going towards that. So, so we've got to address that, but, but first and foremost, put that protection uh, on the national ban, absolutely. Missouri law currently allows for, for some exceptions for medical emergencies. Yep. In, in this, this national ban that, that you're saying that you support, do you see any room for exceptions? Do you see any room for anything like that? Well, I think for the, the, the life of the mother, and uh, absolutely, uh, we've got to have those sort of exceptions. I mean, and uh, Missouri's right in, in allowing for those exceptions. So, but if you look at the, the data, I mean, it's uh, the vast majority are all elective. I mean, it, it's really a small, uh, minuscule number that are, that are done in such a manner. So in the grand scheme of things, this will really scale back the, the elective aspect of it. Senator Rick Bratton, wish I had more time to sit down and talk to you. There's tons that we could go over, I'm sure, as you know, but all the time we have for now. Thank you very much for your time and sharing your thoughts with our viewers. Oh, absolutely.